Get the meat out of the freezer, don't be late. Grill dog's coming, he wants to marinate. If you're tardy, it'll be your loss. Here's where the thrill of the grill meets the boss of the sauce. Grill dog's coming. Grill dog's coming. Grill dog's coming, gonna grill you up a mess. Can he grill a fish? He grill it just as you wish. Can he grill some muscles? Without even a tussle. Can he grill a steak? Come on, give me a break. But can he grill a mango? He does the grill a mango tango. Grill. Hi there, welcome. I'm Grill Dog, and you're watching Grill Dog Presents. We're the show that's all about food, fun, and friends. Because if you're doing anything else, you're doing it wrong. We try to think of what we're going to do here for our fifth show. We're going to make shish kebabs. Now, you have to understand that our critics, well, they're not giving us a two thumbs up for this show, but they're giving us a four paws and a tail salute. What we're going to do today is we're going to do two different types of shish kebabs. I was originally going to call this show my tofu show, but a lot of people don't want to watch a tofu show because they're not really into it. But we're going to show you how to make tofu really delicious with our shish kebabs. We're going to actually marinate a bunch of vegetables, tofu, and chicken in a bag of, of vegetables and a bag of curry sauce with tofu and then we're going to put vegetables and tofu in teriyaki sauce and then in another bag we're going to put chicken in teriyaki sauce and then we're going to put chicken in curry sauce so this way when people show up for our big shish kebab grilling fest they can actually make their own shish kebabs so come on in the first thing we're going to do is show you how to make your own homemade teriyaki sauce okay the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our teriyaki sauce. The first thing you need, get yourself a bowl. Got yourself a bowl. Very good. What we're going to do to make your own homemade teriyaki sauce, we're going to use soy sauce. We're going to use a sweet rice wine, which is in the cooking section. It's called Moran, M-I-R-I-N. And then we're going to use sugar. First of all, get yourself a measuring cup and your soy sauce. Any type of soy sauce is fine, and we're going to use one cup of soy sauce. The thing we want to do is, is basically one to one as far as the soy sauce and moran goes and then four cup four tablespoons of sugar we got our moran and we're going to use one cup of moran one to one we have our four tablespoons of sugar and we're just going to whisk that right in here pretty difficult to make your own teriyaki sauce now isn't it that's it we'll be right back all right, our teriyaki sauce is cooling down in the refrigerator right now as we speak. Now, of course, what you could do is you could buy your own teriyaki sauce at the store if you wanted to, but of course, we're going to make everything here ourselves. But now, let's go into our curry. Now, of course, you can get curry powder, but we're going to make it ourselves. Or you get curry paste. But again, we're going to make it ourselves. First thing you're going to do, you're going to get yourself a bowl. Get yourself a bowl. Try it out. There's the bowl. Try it out. Next thing you're going to do, is we're going to get eight cloves of crushed garlic. Mash it a little more. And we're going to throw it into our bowl. Next thing we want is four tablespoons of ginger in our bowl. Now typically what most people don't realize is that curry really isn't one spice. It's actually a blend of spices. So you're not going to find it in any one place. Make it yourself. We're showing you a cool way to do it. Then we're going to use Four tablespoons of freshly chopped cilantro. That's good stuff. Two cups of low-fat yogurt. Of course, you can use no-fat yogurt or whatever you want, but yogurt is our base. Put that right into our bowl. Half a cup of red wine vinegar. And a bunch of dry ingredients right here. We have ourselves, right here, we have ourselves two tablespoons of mustard. We have two tablespoons of cumin, paprika, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground cloves, and then we have two teaspoons of turmeric. And we're just going to put that all into our mix. And now we're just going to mix it up. Not too difficult, is it? See, we're just going to mix it all up in there, get all those flavors permeating. And there you have it. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to prepare our tofu for marinating. So for our grilling shish kebabs, we have extra firm. Now one of the things about the tofu is they store them in water or their own, or some sort of 
liquid so it keeps them moist and not drying out. Now one of the things about tofu is they're like sponge. They have the consistency of a sponge which means they're going to absorb any of the flavors that are around them. Now, now to really make tofu taste good, what we're going to do is we're actually going to dehydrate the tofu. We're going to then chop it up into cubes for our shish kebab. Then we're going to throw it into our marinade. We're going to throw it both into our teriyaki marinade and we're going to also throw it into our curry marinade. So that's going to be quite nice. Now how do you dehydrate your tofu? Well, first of all, you can put it in one of those expensive, expensive dehydrators. But I'm going to show you a trick. Just take a bunch of paper towels, put it on top of your cutting board or any hard surface, take your tofu squares, and we're just going to set them out just like this. Now on top of the tofu, we're going to put another group of paper towels to absorb the water, and then we're going to put another cooking board on top. So this will slowly press the moisture out and absorb it up through the paper towels. Sometimes I'll put some books on top to make it extra heavy, but here at the Grill Dog House, we have ah, an extra pan we're going to use. So we'll let this dehydrate for about an hour. Meanwhile, we'll start cutting up our vegetables for our two delicious marinades, teriyaki sauce and curry sauce. It's going to be quite nice. Our tofu's been dehydrated. Nah, I sat, sat there for about two hours, but one hour is fine. But let's see how it's looking. We'll move our little weights. Move our cutting board, and let's see how it's looking. Oh, it's it's really pretty damp. Oh, those tofu are nice. It's not completely dehydrated. You don't want them completely dehydrated. You just want them enough so that a lot of that moisture is out of there, so that when we go to make our shish kebabs, they're going to soak up the marinade quite nicely. We're actually going to have three marinades. We're of course going to have our curry marinade. And then we're of course going to have our teriyaki marinade. And I actually, I just got back from a trip from Spain. I was over in Madrid and I brought back some nice Spanish olive oil. So I'm just going to throw some olive oil and some cilantro into a bag. So I'll have another different. You want, you want nice large chunks for your shish kebab. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it in threes. Both ways. Just like that. And then I have over here on my right, you can't see it, but I have three bowls, and I'm just going to start tossing everything into the three bowls. And let's see what type of vegetables we have. We have a red bell pepper. So we'll just slice our red bell pepper up, rip out the seeds, the inside. So we got our red, red bell peppers. We're going to throw them into our three different bowls for our marinade. Now let's see, we also probably have a yellow bell pepper. And one of the things you're going to have to realize that when you're doing any kind of shish kebab, some of the food is going to cook longer than the other. So the foods like the bell peppers are going to cook fast, you want bigger chunks. The food that's going to cook longer, you want smaller chunks. So you adjust your size of your cuts to whatever cooking speed that particular ingredient has. 